Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to make a chatbot using Python with the library called Chatterbot. Pip install Chatterbot in the library. And this is Google Colab. So we first install Chatterbot. Later, we will also install the Corpus. Corpus is where it contains all the text and information that you need in order to train the bot. So we'll install it again with pip install Chatterbot. Corpus. So these are the two libraries we will install and just simply run it. And this will create the platform that we need in order to make the bot. Now, we'll do two types of bots. We'll first use the corpus that is already in there, the greetings and all the text that is already being available for us for free. We'll use that and train a bot and see how that comes out. At the second stage, we will try to train our own bot with our own custom text. So let's start off with that. We'll add another code block. And here we will now define the bot. So we will let Chatterbot know, hey, we're using Chatterbot and we're going to be creating a bot. And I'm going to give you what all parameters this bot was going to support. So from Chatterbot dot trainers. So this is the trainers that we are going to be using. Import the Chatterbot corpus trainer. Now this is the built-in trainer. This is a built-in corpus, which is already present in Chatterbot. And we're just simply calling it. We call it by bot equal to chatbot. Here, we're just defining a bot. We're initializing a bot and we are giving it a name and we'll give it say buddy, for example. So the bot name is buddy and the bot is now going to be trained using the chatterbot corpus trainer. So we'll call it as trainer equal to chatterbot corpus trainer. And it is going to take in the bot that we initialized. Once the trainer is called in, then we actually train the bot. And we do that by calling trainer dot train with the chatterbot English corpus. Corpus English. And if you open the Chatterbot Corpus on Google, you will see it contains many other greetings, many other languages. So not, not just English, it contains different other languages. And you can yourself contribute to that whole section. So we run this. And it looks like there is something that it doesn't like. The chatbot buddy. The chatbot is not defined itself. So we need to call the chatbot. So for that purpose, we say from chatterbot import chatbot. That should take care of the initialization. Yes, so it's now training on these YML files. These YML files are nothing but all these conversations, these text, the question and the response. All of this is already being stored in these files and it's just training the whole chatterbot in this particular section. So it looks like all of this is present now. So the chatbot is trained. So it looks like it, it's completely trained 100% and we can now start using it. So the bot gives a response when you give a question. So we can start giving it a question. Say, let's say name is equal to input. So we'll say, okay, we'll ask the user to give your name first. Enter your name. So the bot knows who's who he's interacting with, fine, and it's stored in name, and we'll open a while loop. So whenever this while loop, and this while loop is going to take the response from the user, which is the name, and give it to the bot. So based on whatever the conversation is, the response will be then given out. So we'll say while true request is equal to input name plus so here we're asking the user to give out a request and we're giving this name so that the, we can call the user we can differentiate the text coming out from the user and from the bot so we'll say request is equal to the input so it's continuously reading or taking sentences from the user once we have that now we will see whether the request was uh, end statement because it's a true, I mean, it's a continuous 
loop. So we want to have a, some sort of condition that can take us, take us out of this loop. So we are continuously reading it and we'll call it as if request is double equal to by. So if the user says by, or it could also be a by with a small cap. So request is equal to by. We'll say print chatbot is equal to by also, and we will break the loop. So this is the termination condition. So whenever the user writes by or by, it should basically come out. But if not, if it's not giving out that condition, then you should give the response from the bot, which is an else statement, and we'll call it as else with response is equal to the bot. And there is a function called get response. This get response will get the will call the bot and try to get that AI response from the bot based on the request that was given by the user. So we're giving the bot the request and based on this request, it's gonna give us the response. And we'll simply just print the response. So instead of just printing response, we will print bot or chatbot is giving this response. Let's run this and see how this works. So it's asking for your name. Now here in my case, I'll put Mispa. And Mispa says, hi. So the chatbot says, how are you doing? Who are you? I'm just an artificial intelligence. What is your age? I'm still young by your standards. Now, if you come back to this, so it has certain profiles that are already being coded. So it can take care of greetings, gossip, food, emotion, conversations, movies, politics. So these are all texts that are already being stored in the bot. And based on this, it's just reading your text and you're reading your response and then giving out what, it, what we need in order to run this. So it's basically running through a basic it's already coded in there, nothing, nothing new. So if you ask something which is very specific and it'll give you a very bizarre answer, let's say, for example, uh, what is the model number of my monitor? And let's say it's called a HP 24MH something. What's the model number of HP 24MH? And there's no way it was already you know, programmed in it. And you can see right there, it gives out a bizarre answer. It says, how do you work? Because this particular question, the bot does not know. Hence, and, and these are cases where you want to be using a bot in your organization to answer certain specific sort of questions, which are just specific for your organization or your need. At that stage, you want a bot that can give out questions and you want to train that for your purpose. So we say bye and the whole loop stops. And we come out and we start creating a new bot at this stage. And we call it as from chatterbot. We call chatterbot import chatbot. So we're just initializing a new chatbot. Here we were in, we have another bot, we have a bot called Buddy, where we trained it with already existing corpus, but now we are trying to create our own corpus. And with that, We'll come here. We have imported the chatbot. Now from the chatbot, we'll now initialize another new bot. We'll say bot2, which is our specific chatbot. We'll call chatbot. Here, we'll give it a few more parameters. We'll call it, you know, specific bot, specific buddy, instead of just buddy, specific buddy. And we'll give a comma here. And you can have different type of, you know, adapters connected to it. Adapters are nothing but other miscellaneous activities that you can give to the bot. You can have SQL connections. You can have MongoDB connections. You can also use, you know, third-party websites like the Flask and the Django framework in order to post these requests and responses onto their web API. 
But at the same time, you can have all these SQL database in the backend where you can code and where you can train your own bot with your own defined sentences. So let's say we create a storage adapter, which is using SQL. So we'll say chatterpot.storage.sql storage adapter. We give a database URI. In our case, we'll just call it some, we'll give something. We'll call it SQL light. And we will give database dot SQL light three. So this is the database URI. And again, we'll also specify some logic adapters. So logic adapters are nothing but defining how the chatbot should respond. Is it based on logic? Is it based on math? If you're asking some math questions to the chatbot, how is it supposed to answer? We come here, we say specific body is going to have a logic adapter. And we'll call this logic adapters is equal to a new line. And we're defining chapter bot logic best match. Based on our text, it's gonna look at all the data that we give out. And from there, it will look up the exact, which is the best match from all the responses it's supposed to give it. Chatterbot logic dot time logic adapter. So here you can ask questions about what time is it right now? Or what day is it? Things of that nature. Like that, it contains a lot of other adapters that we can use for our purpose. So here goes the chatbot specific buddy. And now we can now, instead of giving the corpus like we did in the previous stage, we will give our own trainer. So we'll say from chatterbot.trainer import list trainer. A trainer is equal to list trainer. And the, what was the bot name that we gave here? It was bot2. So we just call bot2 here. And now we start training it. So remember how we saw in the previous step, we had trainer and we were giving it the corpus over here. Trainer.train chatterbot corpus.english. Instead of giving the chatterbot corpus, we will give our own sentence. We'll say trainer dot train and we'll give we'll call, call the square back bracket here and we'll give up all the sentences that we want to give. So let's say a person says hi. The response should be mm, help. Okay. Now I need some assistance. I need your help with my monitor. So this is the question which I want to ask. Please, the bot should give me a response where say, please give me your model number name. Okay. I think we need a comma here. We need a comma here as well. And come back here and give a comma here. Now, I don't like like the service. Do you like to file a complaint? How soon can you fix my monitor? How bad is your problem? We can have we can have multiple questions, but you get the idea. We'll stop, probably stop here and just train this and see how it works. So we run this. I think we have to start running from here. We'll call it chatbot. 
and here it seems like chatbot is not defined once again from chatbot chatbot is already there why does it not like what we did here with chatbot from chatbot import chatbot did we not specify a good spelling for here so the mistake we did over here was the chatbot with the b capital we just want to put b here and just run this and see how this works out best match chatterbot is not defined no module found with best chatterbot there's a mistake somewhere with regards to best match chatterbot the logic adapter is best match logic chatterbot with a comma here and that should take care of it let's see Okay, so the chatterbot is now available. We can now train it with the logic that we gave here. Looks like the trainer is ready. We can simply call our response function that we defined here. Come back here. And instead of calling the bot, we will call bot2. So we are now calling the new bot that we trained. So we call We'll here, we'll call it as complaint guy. The complaint guy says, well, what is the sentence that we gave? We gave, I need your help with my monitor. So I just say, I need your help with my monitor. So please give me your model name. So I give out some HP name. And here, do you like to file a complaint? I do not like the service. So if I say I do not like the service, do you like to file a complaint? So based on what we have trained, it's now able to give out specific responses that we need for our organization. So based on our needs, we can always come back and train and add more sentences, add more specifications and anything where you want to pull up information from an SQL or from, or from an Excel spreadsheet, look into that database and then give out the right answer. So that's how you can train this thing. We'll just call by 